Today, we're going to build an ATST using 14 Lego pieces. These are all the pieces you are going to need. In the description of this video, I left the piece names, count, and design IDs. We're going to start with the legs. So we're going to get a 1x3 plate. And on that center stud of my 1x3 plate, I'm going to grab a 1x1 plate with clip. This is a horizontal gripping clip. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put that clip facing up because that's going to be where our head attaches. So we're going to put that 1x1 plate on the center stud and have it facing up. Now on these side studs, these two side studs, I'm going to grab two of these 1x2 plates with handle on the end. And I'm going to put this at that top stud goes into my 1x3 plate and that handle is facing down because so that's going to be like the ankles where our, our feet attach. And now I'm going to do that to both sides. And once I have those handle pieces on, I don't want them to pop off or move, so I'm going to get another 1x3 plate and just put it right across those top three studs. And now our legs are secure. And now once those are secure, I'm going to grab this 1x2 plate with clip on top. I'm going to put that clip on that clip into that handle piece facing forward to create the feet to our walk and there's some nice movement and posability to those. So once I get both those clips attached, I am done with the legs to my ATST. And now onto the head. And for the head, we're gonna start with a one by two brick with studs on both sides. And on the top stud, whatever you choose is gonna be the back. On that back stud, I'm gonna get a round one by one tile piece, put it on that back top stud, and I've got the hatch to get in and out of our ATST. And this means this will be our front stud. And on that front stud, I'm gonna grab this minifigure neck bracket. And where the minifigure's neck would go, that's gonna go on top of that stud and go forward. Now, I tried to give this two windows like the ATST has, but because of the width of this one brick, it just, it didn't look right. So we're gonna stick with the, the advent calendar design of keeping one window here. Um, but we are doing some more modifications to make this more of an ATST instead of an ATDP like the Lego advent calendar did. And so the next thing we're gonna do is on the bottom of this one by two brick, I'm gonna grab another one of these one by two handle pieces. And I'm gonna put it so that the handle is facing the back of our walker and the smooth end is in front like this. And the next thing we do is create the sides and close it off. And to do that, I'm gonna get a two by two cut corner piece. And I put it so that these top two studs go along these studs on my brick and the other straight corner is going on the front. So you've got the straight edges on the top and front of our walker and then kind of that cut corner area here in the back to give us that shape. And right to both sides where I put those studs across the top and front and now we're almost done. Now the big change here is in the Lego Advent Calendar, they gave it one cannon, and that is an ATDP thing. But the ATST has two guns underneath. And to do that, I'm gonna get a one by one plate with vertical clip this time. And I'm just gonna put it right there underneath in the front. And when you see it kind of has a nice flush fit, and it looks like it's inside. And I really like this look. I experiment with different things like minifigure um, binoculars, but this had the right length and look to be, a, I feel like a more accurate representation of the film. But once we have this head completed, we're gonna take that back handle, put it into that um, horizontal clip we did in earlier, connect it, and we've got a completed ATST. And what I hope is a more accurate representation of what we saw in the movies. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.